Hey, I'm Vaughn from Timbu. And I'm Rob Faludi from Digi International. So today we're going to show you a bit about uh, our water tank demo using uh, Digi hardware and Timbu Corios with the program, a Python agent program running on this uh, Digi gateway right here. Um, but Rob will explain the hardware first and then so the problem that we're trying to solve, and this is a model of that problem, is monitoring a water tank. And as we all know, water tanks sooner or later leak. And when they leak, you want to do something about that. But you want to do it depending on the situation. You may want to do different things. Um, so this tank here, we are monitoring the water level with a water level sensor. And uh, these electronics are talking through the XB radio to a Digi XB gateway and also can activate a pump to the reserve tank here. Now, there's three different situations that we wanted to account for. One is that the tank uh, gets low because it's leaking, and uh, you wanted to schedule maintenance on it. There's nothing important is going on. Situation two is the tank is low because it's leaking, and there's an urgent need for water. It's not going to rain anytime soon. So at that point, you want to use your reserve tank. The third situation is, well, what if the whole monitoring system goes down? Well, you want to know about that too. So we've created a solution that deals with each of these situations. Yeah, so what is happening is, basically there is a Timbu agent running on this gateway here, it's a Python program, and it is receiving readings from uh, the XP radio here to know at what state uh, the tank is, whether or not it's full or empty, and it can also trigger actions to make the pump turn on and fill up the tank or schedule uh, a meeting on your calendar or an appointment to go fill up the tank. So it's best explained to see it in action. So what we'll first do is we'll start emptying uh, the tank right here. All right, so luckily we don't actually have a leaky tank, but we're gonna go ahead and make it leak. And there it is leaking away. And when the level gets too low, it'll start triggering uh, a series of events. All right, so that tank is pretty empty now. Um, and that's not a good situation. We're gonna to wanna to do something about it. So the system right now is gonna go ahead and trigger a phone call to Vaughn to let him know about it. Yeah, so basically uh, there's a Timbu Quario connecting to the Nexmo API, which is a, a phone call API, and it's going to give us a message. So it's told us. So it's told us whether or not it's going to rain in XP days. It did that by using a Timbu Quario to check the Yahoo Weather API, and then I'm going to press two which is the option for scheduling uh, an appointment on my calendar to go fill up the tank if it's not an emergency. So that should now appear on this calendar here. You can see that, I just reloaded it. Now there's a fill tank meeting. But uh, the tank is still low. So what we're gonna have, what the uh, Timbu uh, client is going to do again is it's going to now send another phone call, and in this instance, we're gonna to choose to actually trigger the pump and fill up the tank and really fix the situation. So I should be getting another phone call any minute. Again, through the Nexmo API after Tubu has also used the Yahoo Weather API to check the weather. Press one to turn on the pump. All right, so the pump has been triggered uh, and uh, it is now refilling the tank automatically. Now we only have a certain amount of reserve water, so in many situations we wouldn't want to do it, but because we know the situation with the rain um, and perhaps Vaughn also knows uh, whether a, uh, let's say, watering event needs to be triggered or maybe one of his clients is coming and he doesn't want the thing to be a mess, um, uh, things that the system can't know itself, human interaction can help with. Mm -hmm. uh, this will go ahead and keep filling the tank uh, until it's all the way full again. Um, and then once it's full, uh, it'll go ahead and stop the pump. 
Now, there's one more situation that we wanted to account for. We want to know, um, hey, what if the whole system goes down? What if there's a failure in the monitoring system? Then we wouldn't know uh, whether the tank was leaking, whether we had a problem. So we've also designed in a response to a loss of signal. Um, so if this system here goes down, and I'll simulate a complete power loss, in other words, failure of the monitoring system. Yep, so now the gateway uh, realizes that the, uh, that the sensor here is offline. And basically what it's going to do now is it's the, the Timbu program on it is going to trigger a choreo that connects to Zendesk and creates a ticket. So basically I should get a maintenance ticket when I refill, when I reload my inbox here. Noting that the tank is low. Yeah, new ticket, tank sensor is offline. Yep, 2.58 p.m. just from right now. And you can see, so now that I know that there is an issue with the tank and that we need to send someone out there or, you know, uh, and, and get some maintenance on top of that. That's the whole system. Yep. Digi hardware and software working together with Tembu software to create a complete uh, real-world ready tank monitoring solution. There we go. Thank you.